Doug Umbledge is live at Roth Middle School in Henrietta this morning. Hey, Doug, you know this place well. I, actually, I went to, it was a high school when I went here 30 years ago. <laughs> actually, the funny thing is they have a lost and found table out front. I found my gloves. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, so, well, we're doing science. I mean, Liz Bonus, the only, not the only one on our staff who can do science. We've been doing it all week on 13 Wham News this morning. Look at these guys over here. They got their goggles on. They got stuff in a cup. We'll find out what that is later on. And then if we walk over here a little bit, you can see, the, is your motor going? Can you get your motor going? Let's see. Here we go. Watch this. Here we go. Look at that thing spin. We're going to find out about all the things they're doing here in the sixth grade. We're in Mr. Reichert's class now, sixth grade science. And we're going to go over to Mrs. Katina's class. And Norma and Holly, you know, very often on 13 Wham News this morning, we do uh, cooking and we feature food for breakfast. Right. How about it? Huh? Huh? Ew, oh, mealworms. Oh, they're alive. Says me oh. right, mealworms. Blech. How many of you guys had this morning? Uh, around ten. Ten of them? Oh. Zero. You, you had zero? Zero. Zero. None. One? Oh. None. Who said ten? Put the camera this guy on the had person. 10. It was the guy ten. who said he had ten. Did you um, really have ten? No. But we're going to eat them later, and we're bringing them back to the newsroom. No, that's quite all right. <laughs> They'll be gone in no time. We'll they put them out a, on that table. They They'll be gone. They have a distinct nutty flavor that um, goes well with the... Nothing. <sighs> Do you know, really I, ate, um, yes? I ate a worm live on the air one time. The things we do for our jobs. You ate Wait, a not, worm? Not on, I ate a worm. Not on Channel 13, though. That was in a previous job? At a, yeah, I was in another you city a, was it chocolate many years ago. No, not so at all. So perhaps it's time to do it again? <laughs> no, no, meaning I learned from my mistake. So thanks <laughs> for the offer, but no. All right, well, all right. we're we'll going to go that. back and forth between uh, Mr. Riker's class and Mrs. Katina's class this morning. So we've got a lot to learn. So uh, yeah. put on your thinking caps. All right, thank I'm you. I'm sorry, Doug. worms seriously make me want to just. Ugh, okay. Yeah, don't try that. I'm at sure home, there's a really. scientific um, reason for having them in the classroom. Yes. yes. We'll be back with uh, your top stories of the morning coming up in just a couple of minutes. But first, we're going to check in with Doug Emblidge. Doug, the students yes. and the worms this morning. Oh. Uh, What's that? I said, Doug, the students and the worms. Oh, absolutely. We had the worms. They were delicious. And uh, this looks like art class, but it's not. What are you guys learning here with this goop? Um, phases of matter, like phases solid, matter. Uh -huh. liquid, or gas. Gas, OK. And this would be, let me guess, liquid. No, no it's the solid and the liquid. And the liquid. Oh, it's got yeah. both in there. Oh. Yes. When you hit it hard, okay. it acts like a solid. But yeah. when you go slowly, it acts yeah. like a liquid. And then we had dinner at Norma Holland's house once. The gravy looked like that. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to check in with these guys. We'll I like back. my gravy lumpy, dog. It would have been accurate if he said dinner at my house and oh. it looked like that, but not at Norma's house. Oh. Thanks, Doug. Oh, boy. Those kids are smart. Did you see them? They're like, yeah. well, it's because, and you're They're just like, like wow. no, Doug, it's I this. Yeah, yeah, Let exactly. me teach you something this yeah. morning. Good for them. Good for them. <laughs> We're going to check in with Doug Emblidge right now, just a little bit older than 18. He's yeah. gone back to school where he, where he went. Uh, yeah, he's, what, 12 years old uh, again today? <laughs> right, Doug? <laughs> this is my my high school yeah this was my high school so now it's a middle school the Roth middle school here Rush Henrietta and uh, what we're working on here uh, and at this table over here are hot air balloons and later this morning we're gonna go out and see how they fly so that should be a lot of fun, fun. I did find a folder you mentioned I went here I found a folder that uh, I can pick up some extra credit if I do this sheet on alternative fuels so <laughs> I haven't quite I have an incomplete on my grade uh -oh. still so all right where's our spokesperson you ready Tell them we're going to visit all the different stations and find out what's going on in, in Mrs. Katina's class. What, what's going on here? We're making clean green slime. Clean green slime. This is what it's like when it's over with. Uh-huh. And it's made up of polymers, and polymers are important to us because they make up the substance plastic, and we use plastics almost every day in our life. Yeah, like we our sure do. our toothbrush and our hairbrush. Very good. What a great spokesman. What's your name, huh? Olivia. Olivia did a great job. Thanks, guys. Good luck with your polymers. A great man once said at the end of a movie, plastics, plastics are the way to go. They're looking at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, what's going, who's our spokesperson here? The, the pretty in pink over here, what's going on? Oh, more goop. We made oobleck, which is made up of colloids, and colloids react to heat and pressure. Wow, and what do you do with it after you make it? it well, it's found in paints, cosmetics, and food. Uh-huh, and this is the stuff that kind of can be a liquid or a solid at the same yes. time, right? Okay, very good, very good. You guys get to get messy and you don't get in trouble. <laughs> very nice. How about some plants and animal cells? What's going on over here? This gentleman here has something to show me that's up, up on the, the screen there. What's that? That's an onion plant cell, and there is a square over here. 
this are like the cell wall. Uh -huh. And you see that that is, is uh, the nucleus for, uh, of, of the, the cell? Yeah. Have you guys learned about osmosis yet? Um, no. Okay. Because I was wondering if you could learn about osmosis by osmosis. What's going on over here? These are just animal cells. Animal cells? And this is a cell membrane, mm -hmm. um, a cytoplasm, and a vacuole. Yeah. And these are the chromosomes. This is the nucleus, and this is the mitochondria. Mitochondrion, yes. So it's all coming back to me now. And you're talking plant cells over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, this is the cytoplasm, that yellow stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is a mitochondrion. Mm -hmm. This is the cell wall. Yeah. This is a vacuole. This is chlorophyll. Great job. And these are chromosomes. You guys are a great team. You learning a lot? Yes. Okay. Very, you guys like science? Yeah. yeah. All right, we've got one more stop to make here. I understand we're going to see some bubbles. What's going on here? Um, we are showing the difference between a chemical change and a physical change. The sugar cube is a physical change because it dissolves, mm -hmm. and it's irreplaceable because it, if the water evaporates, the sugar will be there. Yep. But this bubbles up, the Alka-Seltzer, and it doesn't come back if the water evaporates. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, very neat. Oh, thank you for getting this ready for us today. You guys did a great job. What are you doing here real quick? Because we got to go. Baking soda and vinegar. What's going to happen? The, it will bubble up. And cool. All right, Norman and Holly, there it is. Ah! How about that? And those kids are fantastic, They're Doug. So They're smart. so well-spoken, yeah, too. Like, this is At this, home, we'd call that. that an accident. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Doug. All right. All right, more top, top stories when we come back. Stay with us. The Wham News this morning. For today, we do have a cloudy day with some showers in store for us, even a chance of a thunderstorm. Windy with some sun at the end of the day, 71 for a high. They're making hot air balloons this morning. Yeah, they're going up, up, and away. <laughs> Doug Emblish is with some sixth graders uh, from Roth Middle School in Henrietta, where they are flying balloons this morning to learn about different phases of matter and molecules. <laughs> we are this morning at the Charles H. Roth Middle School, which 30 years ago was my high school, but they've the bricks didn't even survive this long. Look at all these sixth graders out here, and we're doing balloons this morning. Let me talk to Mrs. Katina real quick. What is this project all about? Um, the kids are learning about different phases of matter, so we're talking about molecules and heating the molecules and how the density of those molecules are lighter mm -hmm. when they heat the balloons, that that goes up versus the cold air on the side. So they need to come up with colors they think that'll work and a design, and they cut it out, measure it. So the colors together. matter. So these balloons are, are not all... finding that out. Yeah, and the, and the balloons are not all created equal. Now, on the other side, because we're going to have a race next time we visit, is Mr. Reichert's class. And uh, is this a tough grudge match between you it and... It certainly is. Yeah. Yeah. All what, right. what are the stakes? Um, possibly breakfast. We'll breakfast. See. Oh, right. we'll excellent. That. Oh, that would be great. All right. all right, now you guys are Mr. Reichert's class over here. And we got kind of a windy day today. What would that mean if, if, it, if it gets too windy? Sean, what's going to happen? What's going to happen, Sean? And we're probably have to move somewhere else. Have or... to move somewhere else? Okay, at least it's not raining. Exactly. Which is why we're here now. Okay, and these guys over here, I understand. Right. Yusuf, I understand you guys have, uh, you know, some, some championship yeah. history here. What happened? Well, when we let our balloon go, it flew and it went onto the throughway and we couldn't find it. Ooh, so. ooh. It was it... a throughway, and you are? Corey. Corey. Yeah. Uh, what happened to your balloon? Did you ever get it back? No. No? It's gone for good, huh? Yeah. Well, but you get, but you, did you win a prize for distance or something? Is that no. what it was? No. No? Okay. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. Okay. So what happens here? Show me this, how this works, and then we're going to go, and then we're going to do the race. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here okay. we go. Sam, I'm going to do your... Who is it? Yeah. Here we go. You guys? Okay. These are, these are heaters. These are ovens. And so we're going to turn the air in the hot air balloon. Yeah, hot. The neck of the balloon here. The neck of the balloon goes on first. Okay. Coming over here. Okay. Guys, we'll make sure it's down. Now, just to clear up any rumors, are we care which people are going for the ride in the balloon here? Raise your hand. Who's riding? Who's riding up with the balloon? A lot of volunteers. A lot of volunteers. Look at this. We're set. Now, if you guys want to know if we're ready to launch or not, just kind of put your hands on the top of that right there. Oh, that's warm. Yeah. Is it that fast? It's ready to go? Okay. All right. Okay. And coming back in our next half hour, we're going to have a race. Here we go. And 
That could be throughway bound. <laughs> oh, he's down. We'll be back next half hour of the big race. It is Science Week on 13 Wham News this morning, and all week we've been showing you what some local students are working on in their own classrooms. Doug Embledge joins us this morning from Roth Middle School in Henrietta to show us what some sixth graders are working on. It's the big race. This is the moment you've been waiting for. We are racing hot air balloons. We have Mrs. Katina's class here, sixth graders at the Roth Middle School, and Mr. Reichert's class over there, and they're getting ready to heat the air in the balloons. Can you explain to me what happens? Why, when you heat the air, does the balloon take off? Because the molecules in the balloon get lighter, so oh. it's lighter than all the air around it, so it floats. I'm thinking you could teach science someday. <laughs> What about this guy back here? Do you have a balloon in the race? Yeah. Where's your balloon? Now, you made it red and blue for a reason? Uh, no. Do you like the colors? Okay, yeah. come on, you can come over. You're holding the balloon. You're holding the balloon. Now, you worked as a group, huh? Yeah, we also yeah. work at Donovan. I don't know where he is. Where is Donovan, for goodness sake? Hey, Donovan. Come on, Donovan, be with your group. Has Donovan, has Donovan been difficult through the whole process? Yep. Has he? No. Has he? Yeah. 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 Yes. All right, so have you flown this balloon before? Yeah, it, it got pretty high. What was the design thought? What was the thought going into the design of this balloon? Did Tails, you have? It's kind of like a kite, uh -huh. so I thought I'd balance it. Yeah. And the, the black black heats it up. The black heats top? It heats yeah. it up, yeah. Heats it up. Okay, very so good. So you can go higher. All right, you want to go as high as you can, yes. right? All right, thank and you guys. I thought of the colors, Spider-Man. You, you thought of the Spider-Man colors. Oh, so there's worse. dissension. There's dissension. All right, we're ready for the race. They've been heating these balloons. Again, it's Mr. Reichert's class here, Mrs. Katina's class here. This is the big race. All right, countdown. Ten, nine. tell who wins whichever one goes highest whichever stays in the air longest whichever stays in the air longest well I think we have a clear winner Wow that thing is heading across the street okay you have to stop at East Henrietta Road <laughs> whatever you do uh, looks like it's coming down and there we go the winners which class was that so you owe him breakfast? Yeah, you owe him breakfast. breakfast All right, we've got more Science Week here at Roth Middle School coming up on 13 Wham News this morning. <laughs> Look at their high-fiving <laughs> each other. That's so cute. <laughs> Science is fun, believe oh. it or not. Coming up, a new report on unwed mothers. We'll have that story when we come back. Also, we're going to check your latest local headlines. Watching 13 Wham News this morning on Rochester CW with Doug Emblidge, Norma Holland, Holly Maynard, Evan Dawson, and meteorologist Marty Snyder. 13 Wham News, your breaking news and weather authority. Just about 714 on this Thursday morning. We're going to check in with Doug Emblidge. It is Science Week now, but first we'll check your weather first. <clears throat> Excuse me, 66 degrees at noon, 71 at 5. Now we'll check in with Doug Emblidge because it is Science Week and he's with students at Roth Middle School in Henrietta. Well, the balloon race is over and uh, I think it was fairly clear that Mr. Reichert's kids flew farther and higher. We have, we have a victory yeah. and I'll expect a sticky a bun. A sticky bun for breakfast? Yeah. Is that yeah. what it is? The more experience, I'm learning. I'm learning I with the kids. So next year we'll, we'll, we'll win the battle. Yeah, you're going to get them next year. Okay. I think, that, I think yeah. that's clear. Talk about teaching science these days. You've done it for a while. How has it changed over the years? Uh, what I think we need to do is I think we have to more ha have hands-on activities, uh, inquiry-based science, uh, get them used to a variety of different science areas yeah. related to the real-world situations. In both classrooms, I'm detecting kids having fun. Is it that way oh, every day? Oh, yeah, we do. Yesterday, we were getting on chairs pretending to be super super uh, light waves shooting through the stars and, and learning about molecules and the changes and stuff. So the kids do have a lot of fun. And like you said, it's all hands-on. Yeah. So the inquiry-based learning really helps the kids be true scientists and discover things well, on their own. Thanks for having us in today. Oh, it was a lot of fun. You. Thanks for letting us watch the race. All right, we're going to go around and meet some of the students here in Mr. Reichert's class and see what they're up to. Who's our spokesman here? Now, what, what's going on at this table? I see lots of liquids and lots of different colors, and that's about the extent of my knowledge. It's um, cabbages and chemistry, and um, this is the safest way to test if a liquid is an acid or a base. And um, 
and it's a chemical reaction. Uh -huh. um, the green is a strong base, and the red is a strong liquid, or strong acid. Strong acid. Yep. And pink is a weaker acid, and turquoise is a Interesting. Uh, weaker base. But when you mix two uh, an acid and a base together, uh -huh. it just turns right back to a neutral, neutral which is neutralized. A neutral, yeah. Which is nothing. You guys are doing your homework. Thanks so much. Enjoy. Thanks for getting up early with us this morning. Here we got lots of motors. Where's our motor spokesperson? General Motors. What what have you done here? Um, we took a battery and it's um, it started as chemical, then it ran to electricity, and all the way to here as kinetic. As kinetic energy, and you got a little paper clip spinning around above a, a positive and negative force there, right? Yep. Very cool. And it could be used for fans too. So could be used for fans, actually. It's used. Yeah, cooled me off right there. <laughs> What's that? It's um, it it goes has an air come off of it. Uh huh. Yeah, so um, it can use it as some job for some jobs. Probably all kinds of applications yeah. there. That's that's very cool. How's the motors running here? Everybody all right? Hard to get your motor running at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's actually a lot easier than it is in the afternoon. In the afternoon? Well, yeah. So from now on, you should start your school day at 5 a.m. No. No? no. Okay. Just, just a suggestion. All right, back to the goop. But it's not goop. What is it? It's actually oobleck. Oobleck. It's actually considered a solid and a liquid. Uh -huh. And because if you hit it hard, then um, it acts like a solid. But if you go slowly go in, then it's a liquid. That is so cool. So like cool. the atoms compact together when uh -huh. you hit it really when hard. When you hit it real hard, they, yeah. they kind of react, don't Let's they? Yeah. Look at that. That is go, neat. And then when you go slow, it goes right in. Yeah. Wow. It, uh, it kind of... It helps us learn about the three states of matter, like uh -huh. solid, liquid, and gas. Now it's a combination of two, kind of like ketchup and plasma, but plasma is highly toxic. You guys have they learned have so yeah. much. Liquids have the second fastest moving particles, and gases have the um, fastest moving particles than any other um, stage of matter. Very important stuff. Thanks for showing us off this morning, showing it off to us this morning. How you doing? Good. Good. You're having fun with the U-Black, aren't you? It's kind of just, you know, just have fun. Okay, here we go. Time for some worms. Time for some worms. All right, now, at last check, you guys had not eaten any of the mealworms. Now, why do you think they call them mealworms? Because people eat them. People eat them. And you guys have been with them all morning, and I think they're starting to get offended that you haven't eaten any. What can you tell me about the mealworm? They go for, like, incomplete metamorphoses, and... They're like butterflies that go from like the beetle uh -huh. and like... The but they don't go all the way to the butterfly? No. Right. They okay. just go to the beetle. They go to the beetle. Okay. They go through complete metamorphosis and we go through incomplete metamorphosis. Oh, we go through incomplete metamorphosis. They go through complete metamorphosis. Okay. I understand. We're learning about um, reproduction and development. That's mm -hmm. why we did this. Oh, very cool. Well, thanks for having us here this morning. We've got to go. We're out of time. You're going to enjoy your mealworms. I know you're going to eat one. I know you are. It's Science Week on 13 Wham News this morning. Invertebrates. <laughs> we'll be back. We're checking the 13 Wham Web this morning.